Welcome back to the channel and today we're just looking at adding some of that detail to the Bradleys and the BMP3s. So we'll get straight into it. Put the Bradleys just off out of camera there, just out of sight and we'll go to the BMPs. And the first thing I'm going to do is just that mud track looks. The one on the left here, I've done that too. Started doing it too. And the one on the right, I haven't. And the reason I did one uh, and let it dry because we'll do some uh, track work as well. So painting some of the tracks. So, the first one, I'm just going to use a brown. Um, the, unfortunately, the label's worn off this, but any of those brown colours is fine um, that you might have at home. And there's a little bit of paint on the palette. And the brush I'm going to use is a zero. And I'll just get a little bit of water, just wet that brush with a little bit of water and then grab some of that paint. And I just start putting it inside under those road wheels, behind those road wheels, because I want that I want that muddy sort of look for the BMPs. So I'm just adding a little bit of water to the brush then the and the paint. Give them that muddy look. That's giving that nice mud look and a little splashed up on the on the front, but not too heavy on the top, just mainly on the sides. So we'll just quickly let that dry and I'll rinse the brush out in a little bit of water. Then we'll change over to the Bradleys and the color i'm going to first use on the bradley's because we're going for a desert theme look so sort of the iraq war sort of gulf war style look is the black primer and i'm going to put that little bit of that on the palette just the drop and i'm going to change to the five zero brush for this and I'm just going to touch up some of these road wheels that you see in there. Now this is, you don't, don't have to do this. This is just if you want to add a bit of that extra, extra detail. Um, you don't have to paint your road wheels. So just a little bit of detail on them. So just a little bit of detail on those road wheels. And I'll do the, the other two off camera. Then with that same color, which is that primer, that black primer, I'll go back to the BMP3s. And I'm just gonna water down a little bit and just put over the exhaust. 
inlet, the air intake there on the rear deck. And same with this one. Just that engine air inlet. And that's my yeah, bogan name for it. Then I'll rinse out that brush. Then I'll switch back to the other brush, which is the zero brush, which is a little bit thicker. And I'm going to use gunmetal grey. The label's worn off, but it's gunmetal grey as the colour. And I'm just going to put that gunmetal grey along the tracks. So that just gives that track a little bit of a highlight. Do the same to the to the other beam, the other Bradley. Remember, they're going. Oh, it's a desert theme, so it's going to be a bit dry, a bit dusty. So I was just trying to expose a little bit of that metal. And that'll just make them stand out a little bit. And same on the, the BMP3s, but not, not much, just a couple of areas. Maybe where the track hasn't got as, as muddy as you know, real thick mud, just a... And I'll go around and do that to, to all of them. Just give them that little highlight. Then after that, I'm going to just go to a blue. Just put a tiny drop of that blue on the palette. And switch back to that 5-0 brush. Just give it a rinse out in some water. And I'm just going to try and capture just a couple of little vision ports. Just for that little bit of detail on them. You don't have to capture every spot. It's impossible this scale, but you can put a couple of little highlights on them. Looks quite nice.
same with the PMP3, but the, the um, vision ports are like tiny. You, you probably can't do the ones at the front. Um, I'm not that skilled, but we need a couple. And that's um, adding the, the mud wash look to the tracks, some finer details for the um, GHQ infantry support vehicles or armoured fighting vehicles. And I'll do the others off camera. Thanks for watching.